this morning's Machinery Minute, we're looking at some new technology unveiled at last week's Ag Connect Expo in Orlando. Agco showed off its concept vehicle, the Electrogator. The technology uses electric drives instead of a hydrostatic drive system. Farm Journal Machinery Editor Margie Fisher has the details. Here at the inaugural Ag Connect Expo, many machinery companies are exhibiting new innovations. One of those is Agco. Joining me is Paul Hafner. And Paul, we're standing in front of a brand new concept vehicle, the Electrogator. Tell me about it. Well, it's a concept vehicle we're putting together to uh, change from a hydro hydrostatically driven machine to an electrically driven machine uh, to try and get us more gains in fuel performance, fuel efficiency, and just try and uh, better performance for the machines. What kind of, you say it's going to provide better performance, what would a typical sprayer operator realize if using this machine? What they would realize is um, faster acceleration, better braking, um, more power in the field, or, or continuous um, torque from the, the electric drive system. And this is a, a prototype concept vehicle, and why are you guys displaying it here at Ag Connect Expo? It's a concept vehicle um, that we working on and we brought it in here to, to A Connect to kind of let everybody know what we're working on and what areas that we're, we're trying to improve in. Um, just kind of just opening up the communication with the customers, finding out more what they want out of the, out of the equipment. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. Ag Connect exhibit floor is full of new innovations. For Ag Day, I'm Farm Journal's Margie Fisher. Margie says the concept machine shown at Ag Connect was a sprayer, but Agco is looking at using the same technology on windrowers and combines. For more information about the Electrogator, check out MyMachinery.com. Researchers have been studying the potential of miscanthus rhizome grasses as a potential feedstock for biofuel. And now engineers have developed a new system to get the crop in and out of the field. After years of research and collaboration, a miscanthus rhizome regeneration harvester and planter system was recently unveiled at the University of Illinois. The U of I says this machinery can lower the cost of miscanthus rhizome production by up to 40 percent. The four-row planter incorporates separate feed hoppers and placement channels, enabling it to be used for both two-row nursery work and larger-scale plantations. The harvester does bulk lifting of rhizomes on a continual basis with a patented one-pass digging head and oscillating desoiler. The equipment is the result of a three-year collaboration between U of I, Tomax Limited, and Bermuda King.